shots he faced. Two of the leading candidates to finish last overall met Tuesday night in Long Island as the Islanders were home to Toronto. Both teams were relatively hot, at least as far as they're concerned. The Islanders were unbeaten in three, while the Leafs had won back-to-back -back on the road. But the other factor was the Lindros situation. With New Jersey holding Toronto's first-round pick, every Islander win over Toronto brings Eric Lindros a step closer to the Patrick division. And f speaking of first-round picks, can Pat Lafontaine get his team going, get them out of contention for the Lindros sweepstakes? First period, no score. Dave Hanna takes a shot. Glenn Healy makes the save. But Paul Fenton is there to bang in the rebound. Short-handed goal, and it's 1-0. Loop. Still in the first, the Islanders tie it. Pat Flatley, two-on-one break. Beats Peter Ring to the far side, and the game is tied at one after one. Second period, now the Leafs regain the lead. Pretty passing between Mike Krusielniski and Todd Gill. The puck goes back to Krusielniski, who rips one by Healy, and it's 2-1 in favor of Toronto. On to the third now. Jeff Norton feeds Pat Lafontaine, who moves in and beats Peter Ring on the far side. Lafontaine's 20th of the year. That ties the game at two. Late in the game now. Game still tied at two. Lafontaine nearly wins it. This deflection hits the post. And the teams go to overtime, tied at two. No scoring in the overtime, but there was some heavy hitting. Tom Fitzgerald gets laid out by Luke Richardson. This one ends in a 2-2 final score as the Islanders and the Leafs go to overtime for the first time since their 1978 playoff matchup. Fenton and Krusilinski score for Toronto, Flatley and Lafontaine for the Islanders. On now to Detroit, it's the Wings against the Flyers.